every good coordinator has a focus for the, how they want to attack that end of the ball. What's your strategy for attacking a defense? Right now, I love running the ball. I think it's one of those things that it's a lost art. It really is, and play action is a lost art. There's nothing like, take our game uh, versus K-State. It was so awesome and so exciting to see a huge play flake to Delon Carter and everybody pull up, or Antoine Bailey, and then you just have a wide open guy in the back, and it's such an easy play if you execute it right. And if you concentrate on the quarterback and his play action and faking ability, it's so much fun. And for me, having a guy like Antoine, having a guy like Tyson, a guy like Renee and, and Adonis, you know, and Jerome, all these guys that you can really pound the ball with and get those guys so nervous about the run, because it's devastating when you pound a guy for five yards. And you really just go right at him, go right at him, and then you take it on top. And it's so much fun. And I think that's really what we're going to kind of stick to. Where we're going to be sure to really get a good running game started and then attack them deep. That philosophy, is that from your dad or this is your third year with Marone, is that more Marone? It, it's a little bit of both. I think everybody in the NFL, really, you have to run the ball. If you look at all the successful teams, the teams that won the Super Bowls, the ones that the, the past couple of years, the Steelers every year, you have to establish a run game. You have to do that because if you get a, get a team that can just bring the heat and bring the pressure and you hit the quarterback, you're going to have issues. So if you always have the threat of a run game, they always have to defend that. They can't do what they usually do, which is bring a lot of pressure. So in that case, the NFL style is that, hey, run the ball, run the ball, play action, play action. And when you have to pass the ball, you get into some certain situations when you get into the gun and do some intricate things like that. But, uh, but that's really where it came from, really the NFL. And obviously that's where my dad's from and that's where Coach Marone's from. So really all three of us are on the same page there. Last year, you guys didn't have a whole lot of big plays during the regular season. Coach Marone stressed that during media day. And you did have them in the pinstripe bowl, though. Is there a different aggressive plan you had in the pinstripe bowl that's going to translate to this season? Funny enough, we really didn't. I, I, I think it's we, we called a lot of those shots, and we wanted some of those shots throughout the years, throughout the year. And there were just times that we just couldn't execute them. Whether a guy fell down, or a guy got jammed, or pressure came, there were just some times that didn't work, or the guys didn't know how to protect it. Now, after those couple of weeks of, of, of practice and understanding what we were going to see and understanding the offense better, the guys just knew exactly what to do. They knew what to do if all the different situations came, came running at them. So now they could just play football. And I think that now having another spring, having another fall is going to take these guys all to another level because the plays haven't changed. They're na they now can execute them. They be can become good at them because they were really, a lot of those plays we had already called before. They just never really worked. But we had to stick with them because they were there and the guys saw them and they believed in them and they believed that they were there and that's what we're about. Showing them the system and letting them believe in it. Last year, possibly another reason for the lack of big plays, you had a pretty young and inexperienced wide receiving core that also got injured a lot. This year you have a lot of young guys like Jared West, Jeremiah Cobina coming up. How do you plan on using all those wide receivers this season? One thing I've learned throughout my career, you need a lot of wide receivers. Those guys run, and they run a lot, and it's hard to keep them fresh throughout the whole season. So as many wide receivers that you can utilize, the better. Because when you bring out a fresh pair of legs that can run a super speed, lightning, light speed away, I mean, you look at the Dorian Grahams, the Van Chus, and the Cabinas, and those guys can run. And when you could cycle those guys through, and you don't have to just focus on Van Chu, last year we really put a lot on him. And I think that's kind of what wore him down as the season went. So those guys are going to so dramatically help us. And then same thing with Alec. You, you keep throwing him the ball. He's a possession guy. He keeps getting catch. He keeps getting hit. You need another guy like Jared West that can come in there, a guy like Fleming that can come in there and take the heat off of him and take a couple of those hits and still execute the same thing, which makes everybody more fresh. So we're excited about those guys.